Hey there! Welcome to another episode of Dear Blocko. This is the show where I answer your questions about your world and my world. First question up, Hot Dog Man 234 Gonzalez asks, Dear Blocko, what happens if we touch the stuff in a glow stick? While glow sticks might seem like little vials of toxic sludge that can turn you into a supervillain, the truth is a bit less dramatic. In smaller amounts, glow stick chemicals are considered minimally toxic. If you get the insides of a glow stick on your skin, you might be talking about some minor redness and irritation, but probably not much else. According to the Illinois Poison Center, even ingesting a mouthful of the stuff will likely only cause minor mouth or throat irritation. However, it gets a bit worse when you start getting it in your eyes. Since your eyes are more sensitive, if any of the fluid is squirted into them, it can lead to eye injuries and chemical burns. So make sure you're extra safe at those parties. Our second question comes from someone with the username Dorito Ice Cream. Gross. They ask, Dear Blocko, what would happen if the air was 100% oxygen. Well, first off, the plants of the world would probably be pretty unhappy. That's because they need carbon dioxide for the photosynthesis process. You know, their version of getting takeout. Granted, carbon dioxide only makes up such a small portion of the air around you, 78% being nitrogen and 21% being oxygen. But not having any CO2 at all would still put the plants in quite a pickle. With only oxygen circling around, you could say goodbye to those humid days outside. That's because humidity is all about the amount of water vapor in the air, which makes it feel all wet and sticky. No, YouTube, please don't demonetize me for that sentence. I'm, I'm just talking science here. No water, no humidity. But hey, chances are that would be the least of your worries, since only having oxygen in the air would make it way easier for things to catch on fire and burn. Trying to breathe straight up oxygen is also dangerous for humans, so let's try to keep it around the 21% mark, okay? And now it's time for questions about me and my world. Sadia asks, Dear Blocko, anything new about the adventure to New Jersey that you talked about? Actually, yes. We tried trekking through the land of New Jersey, but this strange smell overpowered us. Also, every car kept trying to run us over for some reason. Anyway, we had to turn around, but we're gonna go back better prepared and ready to meet the knowledgeable one. If the rumors are true, the knowledgeable one can answer any question. The next question for me, PQ asks, Dear Blocko, my mom and I want to know, are you and Sir Clea getting married? <laughs> uh, no, I don't have any plans. Not yet. No plans to get married here. Not like I don't want to. I, I do. I'm just saying I don't have any plans. Maybe someday, marriage, someday, marriage, but, but nothing, nothing is planned. Nothing to see here. Go back to fighting alien alpaca, Sir Clea, please. <laughs> Smooth, Blocko. You totally nailed that. She doesn't suspect a thing. <laughs> so do you have any questions about your world and my world? Let me know in the comment section below and make sure you use the hashtag Dear Blocko so I can find it. Want to watch even more Dear Blocko? You should probably check out the previous one we did. How you go about treating an enlarged heart largely depends on what the underlying causes are. Treatments can include medication to stop the heart from growing any further. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.